from shelfaddiction.com and I'm here today to review um, Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia. Um, this book is the first in a series. I believe it's four books in the series and I actually found out about this book after seeing the movie review. Um, I, I would say it was mid-December. I saw the preview for this in the theater and then after that, I kept seeing the movie trailer on commercials, day, night. I just couldn't get away from it. So I'm like, okay, let me read this book, check it out, see if I want to see the movie. So I usually read the book first before seeing the movie. I rarely see a movie, then read the book. It's almost like once I see the movie, I don't want to read the book. But, you know, that's another whole conversation. But anyway, on to this review. Basically, the plot is really traditional in a way like yes it's paranormal there's witches there's you know spells and you know paranormal things going on and all of that but it's really a traditional plot boy meets girl boy falls for girl you know they want to try to be together but there are so many reasons why they shouldn't be together or can't be together the families don't want them together you know so they have all these external things to overcome to try to be together in addition to you know Lena who's the main character the ma main female character in this book you know she has all these personal things that are happening to her that also make her feel like she sh she can't be with Ethan so um basically uh without giving away too much if you've seen the preview um the movie trailer or if you've read the synopsis of this book, we know, you know, Lena's a witch, Ethan's human or mortal, and she has this major event happening to her when she turns 16. On her 16th birthday, her powers will either be claimed by good or evil, and this is ruling her world, you know, right now. Because, I mean, she's counting down the days to this birthday, and she's pretty terrified that she'll be claimed for dark. I mean, I'm not going to get into why, because that gives too many spoilers, but that's the gist of the plot. So, boy meets girl, they fall for each other, they can't really be together, but they want to, and the whole time, Lena is terrified of turning dark, being a dark witch. So, on to the characters. I liked them. I liked them better than I thought I would. I mean, I like that the story was told by Ethan's point of view. I think the story coming from Ethan was much more, I guess it was received better to me than if Lena had been the character telling the story. So I mean, Ethan telling Lena's story, well Lena and his story from his point of view. And because of that, that made me like Ethan. I mean, I felt kind of bad for the guy, you know, I mean, he obviously really likes this girl and he's gonna do whatever he can do to be with her despite what's going on and you know I like Lena as a character too I like the fact that she you know even though people are talking bad about her and she has all these bad experiences at school and you know she has the weight of what feels like the world on her shoulders you know she doesn't seem whiny you know what I mean she's not oh poor me woe is me you know, yes, she's a little bit angst, you know, teenage angst-ish, you know, but she's 15. You're going to have teenage angst with a 15-year-old, and that's totally um, expected. But it's not overkill, where, you know, you're annoyed by the character because it's just too over the top. And together, they're really cute. I mean, the interactions they have, the discussions they have, you know, they at times they seem to be a tad older than what they're supposed to be you know with their discussions with each other but I like it I like the other characters in the book I like you know um, the mother figure in Ethan's life you know and Ethan I'm sorry Ethan uh, lost his mom really young and there's another woman who lives in their household that pretty much raised him takes care of him I mean there's also a librarian that used to be really close with his mom that he sees like as an aunt figure you know I like um, Lena's uncle I, I like all the you know secondary characters you know Ethan's friends you know Lena, Lena doesn't have any friends but you know it is what it is but I mean I like all of 
the different aspects that those characters add. They add to the story, you know, even um, Lena's bad witch cousin, I think it is. I mean, she's even comical. I mean, even she, you know, you kind of like her a little bit, too. I mean, I don't think there's anyone in this story that's like, oh, I can't stand them, except for maybe Lena's mother. She's like a little crazy. Um... But, you know, outside of that, so like I said, you um, all the characters are really likable. They're somewhat believable. They're not annoying. They're cute together. All the things that, you know, make a little paranormal romance-ish type book, you know, likable. So, you know, that's great. So, on to my rating. Overall, I give this four out of five bookmarks. And I say overall because... Let me just say, the ending was weak to me. Um, the book was steady paced, pretty fast paced, pretty detailed. You know, I got good history. I knew the backstory. I know what's going on. I feel like I, you know, I spent like, I want to say I stayed up to finish like the last couple chapters, maybe the last 50 pages of the book. I wanted to find out what would happen to Lena. I really did. And then at the end, I'm not going to give the ending away. But I'm like, really? That's how you want to end the book? <laughs> like, I know there's four more but books, I mean, three more books after that, but I felt like we could have gotten much more, a much more climactic ending, I guess, or a much better cliffhanger. So that was what really brought my rating from a five to a four. Um, I, I really wanted to give it five, but that ending, it just really, I mean, it almost made me feel like I can't believe I read this whole, you know, almost 500 page book, and that's what I get for the ending, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion, don't let the, don't let my negative view of the ending stop you from reading the book, because really the book is good, it's well written, it's fast paced, and, you know, you might not, you might like the ending, you know, it's just my personal opinion, so, um, I do recommend the book if you're into paranormal, urban fantasy, you know, YA urban fantasy, this is a good choice. And if you read the book, definitely read it before you see the movie. Because, you know, you don't want the, mo the movie to spoil it for you. Because, you know, the movie's usually never as good as the book, just in case you didn't know that. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so that's it that's all I have for today guys and I'll see you next time with my next review um, if you liked my review please give me a thumbs up below I'd love it if you subscribe and you can check out all the videos I do as they come out so um, thanks again and I'll see you next time bye guys